Hello folks and welcome to your White Op video weather briefing on this Wednesday afternoon, the 20th of April. I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Mark Hewer. Well, strong winds can be decreasing late this afternoon across eastern and southern areas with mostly dry conditions overnight. Unseasonably warm statewide on Thursday with strong winds and a few light showers in areas. Temperatures for Thursday's highs a good 15 to 20 degrees above average nearly statewide. Trending colder though in the west on Friday with developing rain and snow across western areas still warm and dry elsewhere through the day. Then late Friday night into this weekend much colder statewide with potential moderate to high winter weather travel impacts in several areas from another potential spring snowstorm. Let's start with where we are here this Wednesday afternoon. 500 millibar chart showing us the winds and equal lines of pressure across about 20,000 feet in the atmosphere. We have a building ridge across the Great Basin and Rocky Mountain West. We've got Wyoming right here. This is going to pump in very warm air from the southwest United States over the course of tonight into Thursday and for locations east of the divide on Friday, but we've got this big trough of low pressure out in the eastern Pacific and Pacific Northwest, and that's going to be our weather maker over the course of the weekend. For tonight, though, we're going to be looking at the decreasing winds through this yellow shaded area after about 6 to 7 p.m. Until then, though, still west to southwest winds 20 to 30, gusts to 40 to 50. A little bit of some lingering snow shower activity up in mainly the northwestern mountains tonight might see trace new accumulations on Teton and Togedy passes otherwise dry and breezy tonight across the state. For your Thursday, little bit of some snow shower activity and a rain snow mix in the valleys in the far northwest as well as in the Big Horns might pick up trace accumulations again on Teton and Togedy passes. Otherwise, a few scattered light showers and weak thunderstorms to the north of this green dashed line with warm temperatures and breezy winds dry to the south of the dashed line and here across the eastern third of the state daytime south to southeast winds on thursday 15 to 30 some gusts of 35 to 45 and in far northeastern wyoming we will be looking at potentially some gusts of 50 to 55 miles an hour also this pocket of stronger winds here in south central wyoming but we're not expecting any extreme blowover risk or closures to light high profile vehicles on your thursday now looking at specific travel impacts expected for Thursday, favorable really across the state, some breezy to strong winds in those areas I mentioned in eastern and southern Wyoming with some wet roads in the northwest, otherwise dry and favorable road conditions for your Thursday here in the Cowboys state. Let's now take a look at what we can expect starting late this week. Here's for Friday, our 500 millibar chart showing us those winds and equal lines of pressures. We have a big trough of low pressure that's starting to move westward. And on Friday, it's going to bring a very strong and difluent, moist and cool southwest flow into western Wyoming. And we're going to be looking at developing rain and snow across the west on Friday and then still warm and dry to mostly dry elsewhere. By Saturday, the trough of low pressure is across the Great Basin and Rockies. And we're going to be looking at a setup very similar to last week with a strong and powerful spring storm system developing across somewhere in the South Dakota region, potentially creating moderate to high travel impacts across much of Wyoming, especially northern, central, and western areas as we get into Friday night and especially Saturday through Sunday. And specifically, here are some potential travel impacts that we'll be watching over the course of Friday night through early to midday sat Sunday at least. For the northern sections of the state, potential heavy snow, very strong and gusty winds, much colder temperatures, high impacts possible to likely for the red shaded area as we get into late Friday through potentially much a Sunday. Yellow shade area, little more in question, potential snow, very strong and gusty winds and colder temperatures, moderate to high impacts possible. And that'll especially be true over the higher elevations of I-80 between Laramie and Rollins in southwestern Wyoming and also possibly in the Casper area. Might even see some high impacts for these areas late Friday into the weekend. Then far southeastern Wyoming looks to, and eastern areas looks to miss out on 
most of the or all of the rain and snow, but will be hit with some very strong and gusty winds this weekend and colder temperatures. Stay tuned to the next couple of days as details become clear. And thanks for watching today, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.